welcome everybody to my channel and today we're going to be hiking again 21.2 kilometers for my preparations to Marrakesh and I'm going to be walking from Scheveningen I'm here in Scheveningen as you might recognize to Noordwijk aan Zee which is around 21.2 kilometers and I think it's going to take me around four hours maybe a little less if I if I walk fast so let's go as you might see building over there quite a famous building over there it's named the Kua house with the flag on it here we have the safening up here and the big stretch of coastline which I'm gonna be walking alongside which carries on all the way to Noordwijk aan Zee. It's a really nice day and there's hardly any breeze or wind there's really wind still which is pretty rare I believe here normally at the seaside there's a slight breeze or even a wind but today it's really peaceful Look, we got the dunes over there and the sea down there with the beach of course. The first part of the of the hike is gonna be along the along the beach and then after a kilometer 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 <laughs> kilometer or three I think we're going inland a little bit and at the end of the hike along the dunes so that's the hike and keep you updated in the rest of the video so keep on watching if you like the video so far don't hesitate to press the like button or subscribe because I'll be walking to Marrakesh next year and you can join follow me and see what my journey will be like so keep on watching really beautiful it's really nice I really like to walk beside the sea so I think this is my favorite hike so far even though it's just started the sand here is, is very loose so it's quite tiring to walk so hopefully it won't be like this the whole stretch but I'm really enjoying it it's been a while since I saw the sea swimming over there. I don't know if you can see but it's so nice to hear the sound of the sea as well. So what we can see here are bunkers from the Second World War which were part of a great uh, defense system of the Germans which ranged all the way from the south of France to the north of Norway and so along this stretch that I'll be hiking today from Scheveningen to Noordwijk I'll be passing along the Atlantic Wall just a tiny bit because the total length of the Atlantic Wall was uh, around 5,000 kilometers but it's a very interesting informative and historic trail therefore so if you'll follow along probably I'll try to get closer to one of those bunkers look at that that bird is just hanging there. He's flying, but he's hanging. He's not moving. He's just not sure I ever saw that before. And he's been doing it a while before I started filming even. Quite interesting. But uh, this is the dune path. And I'll be hiking this for the next 10 kilometers or so. A stretch of green dunes here. I think this part of the hike is the deepest inland. I would say I'm about two kilometers inland now. I can tell by the landscape. It starts to get a little greener. The dunes closer to the sea are more 
I want to dry. So, it's a really nice landscape and the air is really fresh. Hiking around five and a half kilometers now per hour. Really had to step up the pace a little bit. As in the beginning, I was taking a lot of pictures. Not without reason, of course. The sun dropped now, so it's not as sunny anymore. Just trying to keep up the pace here. As you can see, I'm slightly out of breath, but this is a good preparation for my journey from Utrecht to Marrakech. Being that my practices so far have been easy and no ups and downs, these dunes have slightly ups, slightly ups and downs. And being that it's on a sandy path, trying to keep up the pace makes it a moderate trail. But that's good for me. So I can get some experience on what more difficult terrain. So I'm happy with the trail. I hope it's gonna prepare me well. Here's some of these slight hilly dunes with the sand. I've encountered a couple of these along the route. And I just try to hike up there really fast, get all my leg muscles working, because it's rare for me to get to exercise with these types with this type of train so I'm just doing my best some remains of the Atlantic wall along with the, the bunkers uh, this formed the defense the German defense line and as I mentioned earlier this, this uh, defense line was 5,000 kilometers long from the south of France to the north of Norway. And this is a part of what's left of it. Here we are, almost entering the village of Katwijk. And I think I might get something to eat as I'm quite hungry. Didn't eat that much. Just a banana and two buns. But I don't really like to eat, to walk on a full stomach. So that's why. So I have night, like a small, small snack now, I think. And then uh, finish the trail. What do you guys prefer? To, to hike on full stomach or just keep, eat, keep eating something small? like to know. There's not a lot of people around now but in the summer, in the normal summer without Covid, it must be very very busy here. Lots of tourists coming over from the east of the country as well as Germany and I can imagine the sea, I think the sea always gives you this nice relaxing feeling setting up the tent close by or staying in an apartment nice summer but now it's very quiet still enjoyable though in a different way nice peaceful hike so what what I see there is a fish shop and what I'm gonna get is some traditional Dutch kibbling garlic sauce I'll show you when I have it. Just got the fish and there's not a lot of Dutch food I would recommend as it's not really my taste but this is something I would definitely recommend. Something I always get and it's kibbling called it's called kibbling and I always get it with garlic sauce. So let me show you what it's like. And the woman told me specifically to watch out for the seagulls I think you can get quite hungry and this is it with the garlic sauce and I'm gonna enjoy that right now and then carry on the last uh, around six kilometers to Noordwijk, 
and then that was the beautiful hike for today keep on watching and I'll show you the rest of the trip on 20.2 kilometers now so just one more kilometer to go and then I will have achieved my longest hike ever so I'm very proud of that even though it's just 20 point 21.2 kilometers you know it's a new achievement for me and uh, I'm gonna be building it up slowly but surely so I'm gonna be ready for my hike to Marrakesh uh, during which I plan to hike around 35 kilometers a day if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my preparations and of course my hike from Utrecht to Marrakesh I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time bye bye just a quick shot of my arrival in Noorweg Anze hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the trail